Hey, 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 what is up? SCS here, and it's Wednesday, February 3rd, and welcome to the ICW, ICW's Unleashed Hype. We're basically, uh, this is uh, the week before the, uh, the, the next ICW Pro show coming up. I basically go on their page and see if there's any updates, any match coming up. And uh, we just basically talk about, I give my thoughts, my opinions about what's been going on. And uh, yeah, and also this is do the card subject to change. So basically if I make this video, or after I get this video uploaded, do which is today, and if they had something after that, oh well, sorry. I don't talk about it. But uh, yes, ICW Presents Unleashed. This is the second show of the year for 2016. So far, they did, they're did. they okay, except the only really big, big buggy last week was. I mean, last uh, month for January's show, the return of ICW show. Not the return of the Jeeps, because who to grand did not show because of flight, whatever, problems. Well, now that that dude is here, he's Brock, Le he's Brock Lesnar in the belt. Now she won the belt and didn't show up two months, three, whatever, four or five months or whatever. And now he's going to be there. Ooh, what if he doesn't show up again? Do the flight consultant. Hugh Tugurea defended his belt, which we saw from last time, last month, or, uh, the, which was kind of Matt Creed got screwed over kind of way. He didn't get pinned or nothing. Uh, Troy Moore got pinned, I think. I think, yeah. Uh, the last match of the, uh, the match of that triple threat match was kind of the, the lay down was kind of shitty, but it was game one, and but he also hit Artie Kidwell, you know, and so the Troy Miller versus Lynx King versus Hutu Guerrero, which I think Hutu Guerrero will drop the belt to somebody. I don't know if it's gonna be Lynx King <laughs> or Troy Miller. I mean, my thoughts of another Troy Miller reign. I mean, sorry, but I think we should go the, the belt should go to Lynx King. I think it should went to, it should go to Matt Creed for some reason because he got really he got screwed out of the board because Artie's like, Oh, we'll defend the belt between Lewis King and Troy Miller, but Matt Creed was just there. Nothing. He should he could have he should have been this is what it should have been. He fatal four with it for the title. But nope. No Siri and this is the message what he they said the twenty eighth, they they this is the the stupid ICW Pro thing he took out Ari Kidwell, January 28th. Troy Miller, I will expect a sincere apology in the center of the ring at the February show. If not, you will need to find somewhere else to work. In addition, the ICW board has discreet that no one will be t will be t allowed to touch Ari Kidwell under pain of dismissal. Who cares? I tell you what, here we go. For our storylines and everything, Ari Kidwell, he comes out with this whole damn... Oh, almost sex machine. He comes out the James Brown sex machine. But all that comes out is a fucking old guy, magician, gut, 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 gut. I, you know, when he comes down to the thing, it doesn't matter. I don't come, I don't come to ICW Pro to see Artie Kidwell. No, I don't really care. But supposedly this is going to set up the, uh, with the whole, uh, I don't know. I mean, this is just going to set more crap, which doesn't really matter to me. Don't care. Okay? And I'm sorry. I'm not really cool with that. I don't, don't give a crap about it. But, yeah. Oh, here's some good coming news of the show now. Because we're basically going to hype up and everything. Is, uh, well, the War Viking part. The Viking War Party will make its debut. Um, I look at these guys. I... Don't really care for this. I'm already judging look wise. Don't really give a damn about this. I mean, nothing really is to it. Um, but not really. I, I mean, this is cool too. I mean, let's see uh, who, who do you think these guys will face? Uh, maybe the Elite? Uh, La Raza? Um, I don't know who they might be facing. But no one really care about it. Um, we know that Matt Creed. Well, this is going to be a cool, cool, interesting match. We get Matt Creed, who's def who's taking on Jun Hideo for the ICW United States Championship, which this might be. This might match might be a key highlight, and um, 
we can talk about Matt Creed, good person, good good wrestler indeed. Also, Jun Hei Dae. So this is going to be a face versus face match. I look to see how this reaction is going to be. Uh, basically, in the NW section, we try to get everybody riled up, heckle, linger, just having fun. Uh, for me, you know, it's very, for people say, so how can you enjoy a show when you're doing your fan cam? Which I'm the guy in the very front row seat in the crowd with a selfie stick aiming my camera at the ring. Which to me, I mean, people, if, if, if the Ortegas or anybody gets mad about it, let me know. Uh, I mean, I do the fan cam footage. I love doing the fan cam footage. Um, I know that Wilbur Berry goes there and does the professional stuff done. The thing is, though, whatever Ortegas or whoever you listen to this, these videos you can take or whatever you can use them or not. But I know that Wilbur Be Wilbur Berry does better. He does a better editing. He does the ICW things. But I basically view Camry from the f uh, from the crowd, you know, and try to get and try to get the company over. That's my whole thing about. Um, I have one of the guys from Pubes and Pajamas that whatever I forgot. He's like, oh, you're bootlegging. Yeah, I'm bootlegging. Okay, where's my money at? Where, where's the money I'm selling these tapes? Nothing. It's just going to my YouTube support and get this company over. <clears throat> but uh, one thing that I'm really excited about is that, well, one th there's two things that I'm very excited about. The Great Cheyenne is coming back. Uh, great shiny. This is another thing too. I don't know if the if she's defending the belt or anything though. One thing about this show that's gonna be really fucking good is that I get to do some fan cam footage of the Great Cheyenne. The Great Cheyenne, very lovely lady, very sexy, attractive lady, Mesker style. She's awesome. This woman, I, I'll get my ass kicked probably or get bitch sucked around. Uh, we're uh, I'm a big fan favorite of Great Cheyenne. Now her man or whatever uh, from the Hellfire Sympathy, uh, the Great Malachi or Red Sushi. I don't know. The thing is, though, Great Shine, she's supposed to be heel or whatnot. We cheer her all the time, but the Great Su Red Sushi don't really care. Are you mad, bro? So I think he's gonna be showing up again. And their little man, their little guy who does crown paintings, which what was his name, Mordecai too? I forgot. But uh, the Great Cheyenne's come back. She's the ICW's uh, Lucha Libre's Women's Champion. Or ICW Pro's Women's Champion. And who knows she's going to face again. I mean, I don't know. Uh, we got after coming up because this is what she said, Bo. She said, uh, most usually I don't make too many plans on weekends. Well, not usually unless I'm playing the tear somewhere up in the ring. Mary Nia next Saturday, I'm back. She needs to get, and she's cool. I don't really like me because did it be wrestling and everything. This is gonna be awesome to see her coming up. I mean, because Squish is entertaining. We said she's pissed off. She's pissed off, and we talked to her all the time. We get pictures for the intermission. Probably gonna take her picture. I probably want to do this time too. Is this intermission maybe take more pictures with wrestlers? Maybe I think I should do it every time, you know. But I don't know. I might forget if I don't bring my iPhone or anything. Um, what else is going on here? We got. Let's see what else is going on here. Uh, another cool thing is that the punk rock princess will make her debut in uh, that Unleashed, which is pretty badass. This chick right here, who I know her as Destiny Blade, or I know her as Tony Barley. I went to high school with this chick. I had a crush on this chick years ago, a long time ago when she was in high school. And I got to see her and Cameron Starr wrestle a long time ago on the EWS stage. And now I don't know what she, I think she's using it. It's pretty cool now because I'm excited too because I don't know if just Justin's going to be there and Arky. But now I get to see uh, the, punk rock, the punk rock princess or Destiny Blaine, whatever she's going to be calling herself. That's going to be cool. What if she's going to face Great Cheyenne? Whew. I don't know. Because it's been a long time since I've seen Destiny Blade wrestle. But the thing is, though, I'm going to have the fan cam footage here. That's going to be great knowledge. That's going to be awesome to talk about. I mean, if they're going to wrestle or not. Because if that's, gonna be, if that's the match coming up, it's going to be good. Or maybe she's going to face Celine Gray, which is going to be fine anyway. Celine Gray is a good and good talent. And by the way, I'm talking about Celine Gray. I think she's going to be there. She's always there. Awesome compared to two. She... Uh, um, the, 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 all the fan cam videos, her versus Ingrid Wisely, Wisely, whatever her name is, 
it got the most views out of all the videos that I did from last month on uh, the return of ICW. So I think that's pretty cool. It's like almost 300 views already. And all the other matches are like 90, 40, 15 videos. So she gets her rap. She's pretty damn good, but I'm excited to see Destiny Blade. I hope to get a picture of her. I hope, get, hope she'll be at the intermission or whatnot. It'd be awesome. It's like, hey, it's Tony. You know, or if well, not Tony, it's your real work. Uh, you see Troy Miller. And let's, be, let's watch this Troy Miller video real quick. Comes Attention ICW fans. ICW Pro comes back home to Marion, Indiana this Saturday night, February the 6th. And I can't wait. I just cannot wait. Because Juventud Guerrera is coming back to Marion, Indiana as well. And he's bringing that championship belt. I promise you fans, Juventud is not leaving Marion as the ICW champion. That's not going to happen again. And Lennox King, you and Artie Kidwell, you may or may not have some kind of crazy love affair going on. Something a little kabuki-ish happened at the last show. I don't know who to put trust in, but I'll tell you one thing, Lennox King, my friend, you are not going to be ICW champion when the smoke clears. And the prophet Rick Craig, <laughs> I don't think you want to stick your nose in my business because I am the franchise Troy Miller and I will be your ICW champion once again. Come on out, fans. Get your tickets now at Lance's New Market. You do not want to miss this as ICW returns to the Marion Boys and Girls Club February 6th. Be there. It's going to be awesome. Hmm. Thank you, Troy Miller. Yes. Troy Miller put out his promo. And the thing we took about the whole Linux King little Ari Pickwell thing, I hope that Linux King will not turn heel. If that happens, you know, well, if it does, it's not gonna bother me at all if they even do something like that. Because you know, Linux King, he's pretty good with the fans, you know. He's he's a good face, you know, you know, and uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but the things though, another turmoil rain, I don't know. But then again, I respect him, you know, what he does, but do we, do we really need another Troy Miller reign? Maybe, or whatnot. But let's, let's let's see someone else get the belt. Maybe Troy can get it later on this year. Hell, I don't know, but uh, good promo, like always happens. Um, <sighs> but um, that's been going on for that here, and let's, let's look at the poster now, which is, I talk about the poster of whoever's on the wrestling. Now, hopefully these wrestlers are there, because the last time there were some wrestlers on this poster that, didn't even, it wasn't even there. So let's to see what they are. Who's on this poster? Well, Troy Miller, who took your rare Lynx King. Like I said, that match, I hope Lynx King wins. Or maybe Will Murray will win. I just don't want Two Guerrero to win. I don't think he's going to win anyway. We see, we got Artie Kidwell, which, you know, he's the authority or whatever. He's the, just the character which I don't really care for. I mean, I thought about doing fan cam footage of the, of the segments, but I'm like, nah, I ain't worried about the damn segments. Matt Creed. He's going to face Jun Hede, which Jun Hede is now on this thing. We got Sling Gray. She's tough. She's always tough. She's attractive. She's kicks ass. But the last match she had with Ingrid last week, probably one of the worst matches she's ever had because of Ingrid, because she was not, in, the moves they were doing out was not really going out for well. Who else is next? Then we got Rick Craig, the Prophet, which I don't know why they put him on these posters. I'm sorry. Rick Craig, you're not interesting. You come out with this Lord of the Rings god-awful gimmick that doesn't get anywhere. They might, you, you might get yourself over, like, oh, I'm over, you know, give me, yeah. The whole MWO as a fan group outside of the fans is more entertaining than you. You're just in there because you get the good rap. You know, Zane Paisley, you know, you guys are part of the whole Unspeed Wrestling Podcast or whatever show. He's the ring announcer, and he's more, I don't know, just he's more cool. But then again, you guys are friends. You got to get in the business somehow, but 
I don't really care for the gimmick. He's a heel manager. I don't care. Great Cheyenne. Uh, Tygon. Now Tygon, this now he's been dealing. He was dealing with the elite last time, so maybe we're gonna see that whole thing going on again. We got the great Malachi, okay, Red Sushi. So Red Sushi chance will be up there hopefully in the fan cam footage. We got some random Lucha Libre guy. I don't know who that is. We got the great Vacuum Party, which I don't care. And then we got the we got La Raza, um, El Diablo Monte, Johnny Plex, and Sid Mastermind Page. And then we got the Elite. So I'm I'm really excited. I haven't got my tickets yet. Let me get my tickets soon. And uh, one thing, let's oh, we have two more things left to talk about. Here's the first video. The first video. ICW fans, that's right, it's me, the Monster Abyss, and I'm coming back. I'm coming back to ICW, Marion, Indiana. Get ready, because 2016 is going to see a lot of destruction, pain, and suffering. ICW, you don't know when, you don't know where, but I'll see you real soon. <laughs> there you have it. Abyss is going to show up again for unfinished business. My opinion on this, why can't you get someone else? You have to get Abyss, who I saw last time last year. But the thing is though my friend Zach never got to see him. I know Zach never got to see him. He wasn't there at that show. But for Abyss coming out, not even giving a damn about it because it's just Abyss. Now this is Abyss. This is back on my TNA hall because now he's in this new team with Crazy Steve or whatever whatever in TNA with this bitch who looks like Harry Quinn. I think it's Crazy Mob Dops and whatever. I don't know the whole thing. I don't watch TNA much but Abyss really he was a dickhead the last time I saw ICW. And he came out with a shirt and his mask. I'm like, man, this guy, this whole mask too, it's a cane kind of ripoff kind of thing. And the old school Abyss, Mankind was better than that. But Abyss is going to be, is going to be coming soon. Which, I'll be there to support. But really, nothing really spectacular that is. And then we have the bit, the, the last, but not least, is that. Coming March 5th, a WWE Hall of Famer will be coming up. And I think the March show is actually the year show. And then we'll talk about that just now. It's the last conclusion now. I think it's the year show. This is going to be something. We don't know what's going to happen. They're going to announce this show, which I'll be talking about in the review. Coming up for Un Unleashed. This is what's going to happen. You're going to have whoever's going to be there. I've, now I've heard someone say the name, but I'm not going to say anything. But I don't know if it's true or not. But if it is, that's awesome. Because I've heard a couple months or whatever, I mean... But I'm, I'm not going to say anything about it because I don't want to jinx it. But if it is who that person is, that's going to be awesome. The th here's the one thing that I'm not... Wrong. Just, here's it is too. This, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. I hope the tickets don't change the prices. And also... Let's hope that this is not going to be at the Armory again. Now, the, uh, now the ICW Pro did this at the Armory last year for their first anniversary show, which is my first anniversary show, was that. The thing is, though, if they go to Armory, yes, it's cool, but the thing is, though, the parking arrangement at the Armory is god-awful. But then again, Boys and Girls Club, you know, the scene arrangement or whatnot. But, yeah. So that's it, man. That's the hype up, you know. I'm very excited, you know, that well, they continue on the Tygon with uh, the Elite, uh, who will who, who, who punk or the punk rock princess face? Great shine will be back to kick someone's ass. Um, who will go? Who will win the title? Who to Guerrero will be there? The comeback. Um, it's just it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be a wild night. And uh, but I'm gonna be done. Hell, I'm gonna start for 20 minutes right here for the hype up. And uh, we'll see you for Saturday. And then on Sunday or Monday after the days or so, I will be doing the review of the show. So, I'm STS, and we'll see you at ICW Pros Unleashed on February 3rd. No, February, ain't February 3rd, February 5th, I believe. February 6th. See you Unleashed. And I hope you guys also give feedback or whatnot. And also, guys, just
thanks for this video. This is I always talk about you guys and get this place and get this uh, ICD Pro pumped up and get it over as always. But I'm STS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for the hype up for Unleashed. Like I said a thousand times again, and we'll see you this Saturday at Unleashed. The Boys and Girls Club, ten dollars at the door or eight dollars at Lance's new mark in the office portion. I'm STS. Peace. I'm out.